Sean from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. Okay, I used a number two Phillips with my drill, a uh, quarter inch driver with my drill, and then a flathead screwdriver. Okay, our uh, GE refrigerator here complained is that there's water leaking into the refrigerator compartment. Since there's nothing in the refrigerator compartment near where the water is leaking, that carries water. Uh, I'm going to go directly into the freezer. That's where the ice maker and the defrost drain is. And uh, we're going to go from there. Now we've already taken all the food out of here just to save time. So that's why you'll see that it's empty. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove our rack. And then we're going to take the ice maker out. Take out our uh, this center piece here. There's a screw here and a screw here. Now we should be able to lift this center piece up and then off. And then we're going to set that to the side and then remove this back panel. We're going to have a screw here and a screw here. Alright, so we're going to remove our screws. block of ice back there where our drain is, I'm sorry. So the water is unable to go down uh, uh, and below the refrigerator like it should, so it then leaks through our vents. All right, so we're going to remove all this ice to the best of our ability to access the drain. And out, we're going to pull this little conductor that they have here out. The reason I'm doing that is I want to expose my drain hole and then I'm going to take some hot water uh, with my turkey baster and flush it down there until I can clear out the rest of the ice. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my turkey baster here and then I got some hot water. I'm just going to put it down in the drain and just start flushing it until we get that drain to clear out. So we have the drain cleared with the turkey basin. Just to verify we have it, I'm just going to take, save some water. I'm just going to dump it into the pan. And I can hear the water draining right through. So with that being said, we know that that is functioning fine. Now we can just reassemble the unit and uh, everything will be back in business. So now we got the drain cleared, we're just reassembled. So I got my... Uh, conductor wire that's supposed to help that drain not get clogged up. So we're just going to feed that back in there like we found it. And now we can take our back panel and reattach that. All right, so we have our back panel and we're just going to go ahead and put that back on. screws on the back panel. Alright, so that's back on. And then uh, what I'm going to do now is just take a towel, clean out all the ice and everything uh, for the customer, and then we'll continue reassembly. Okay, so we got all the uh, loose ice and water out of there. So now our next step is to reposition our fan motor cover. screws all right now before I get too far I'm gonna go ahead and 
turn the refrigerator back on, make sure I don't need to make any adjustments by the fan motor. Alright, so the fan's on, everything is good in that aspect. So now we can go ahead and reinstall our ice maker. Alright, so I'm going to go reinstall my ice maker. i got to plug it in first. And then go ahead and mount it on the screw. Then I left one of the screws in there to help me with mounting. So now we're just going to put in the other screw. Step is to put back in our rack. And then we just have to put the food back in and we're all set. Thank you for watching another quality in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.